Personal Branding Online has given you some really useful tools and some of the approaches that you are able to do. Now you are on a long-term journey and the opportunity for you to actually start thinking about the activities, plans and networks and social engagements that you might want to have. If you use some automated tools, you might want to think about scheduling some content publishing. So for example, if you use a tool such as Buffer, Buffer.com, so it gives you the option to link up your LinkedIn, your Twitter and perhaps your Facebook page to the same content that you have. And every time that you find an article, Buffer will share that content for you. So there's a number of different things that you can automate to make sure that your personal brand keeps uh, staying fresh and up to date. A very useful thing to think about is a content calendar in terms of uh, writing a certain reflection blog post or a certain story and publishing it on a regular basis. If you develop a routine, it will help you to keep up to date with the industry news as well as yourself keeping yourself updated and actually makes your personal brand looking very fresh online as well. So the worst thing that could happen is if you develop a Twitter profile or if you've developed a YouTube account and you've only posted one video or if you only posted one tweet and then you've never tweeted or you've never engaged in that network again. If you haven't decided that you're going to carry on doing these things, this is the time to actually shut those networks down. But do make sure you take all the screenshots and the captures to actually show in your report of what it is that you've uh, done in terms of your activities. So from reporting point of view for this course, it's really important for you to capture everything that you have done before you actually get rid of it. So enjoy your planning.